Hello, this is Sergio from Sergio Gramonte Photography. This video is going to be about the Canon EOS R7, which Canon is going to be releasing in a matter of days, I think. This is the camera that Canon should have released when they released the 90D. When the Canon EOS 90D came out, first thing, first question in my mind was, is this gonna have a 30 minute limit? And as we all know, it did. Uh, this was a no-go for me, no one. Uh, I decided to buy two used C100 Mark IIs to do my video work, and they have worked great. Of course, uh, they're kind of big, and uh, I have been downsizing my equipment. Uh, I used to shoot with a 1DS Mark III for my picture taking at events. And now I'm using uh, EOS R and EOS R6. So when they I first heard about the R7 having no 30 minute limit, that's the first thing that I thought about. Hey, now I have, I, I could have an SLR, I mean a mirrorless camera, a small camera, APS-C, size sensor for my video work at events what I need to record excuse, longer than uh, 30 minutes. I do a lot of Catholic Baptist, Baptist uh, weddings and the ceremonies last around 50 minutes to one hour and sometimes longer. So this will work perfect for me. Assume I'm 1080. That's what I should, assuming that they don't, they won't overheat in 1080. Um, and I have eternal batteries for it. I, I'm all set. So what that would, what that would do is that it would make my kid that I take on location for run and gone uh, for all my events, period, a lot smaller and lighter. So that's something that I am thinking about. If any of you are thinking about it, have the same ideas, uh, feel free to comment about it. Uh, is there any other feature on the camera that you would like, that you are sure that you're gonna use or that you're looking for it to use it in your event or whichever way you use it, uh, please uh, comment. Let's talk about it. And um, between you guys and I, maybe we can learn from one another. That's the idea, of, one of the idea of my channel. I like to put out a little information of what I'm doing so others can learn from it. And I, in turn, learn from your comments. Uh, one note I wanna make right now is I am blogging with my GoPro Hero 8. Uh, I have blogged or done talking head videos like this with all of my cameras, C100, my 2, EOS R, EOS R6, and, uh, the one, uh, the one that I like the most is this. It's such small setup. Like I said before, I'm trying to get small on everything that I use. Right now, I'm using this uh, carbon fiber tripod. It's a uh, VEO 265CP. This is a carbon fiber tripod that I picked up at the Amazon. Very lightweight. It has an arc Swiss plate uh, system, and uh, I can. It weights nothing with the camera on. I can throw it in a bag and go on my bike and do this setup anywhere in town. Uh, right now, the GoPro has a filter. It's like a foam filter cover all around it. it cost me like ten bucks at Amazon uh, to cut down on the you know a wind filter to cut down on the wind noise. Uh, but I have on order a uh, the case uh, they call it uh, media media mod that has its own microphone. Uh, also has a microphone jack in the back, three and a half millimeters. I understand, and I can use my uh, wireless Go 2 microphone for blogging and get better sound result. Also order uh, the screen. The flippy screen that you can put on top of the GoPro, <coughs> excuse me, and you can use it for blogging. 
like right now. So I'll be able to use like a smaller, a, a different lens that is not so wide because I use an ultra wide lens so make sure that I'm not cutting my head off or anything. But with a, with a screen, I can use a, the linear lens, I think they call it, for the wide lens, which is not as wide. I also order a filter kit, three filter density filter kit for the media mod. So when I'm shooting outdoors like now, daytime, which is what I usually do, I can use these neutral densities to cut down on the light and help out the camera. So it doesn't have to use such wide, or I should say such small apertures. Uh, so this is pretty much all I have to say for it right now about the EOS R7. I'm waiting for it to come out and get more uh, information from the people that bought it. But that's what's in mind right now. Uh, I'm thinking of replacing one of my C100 Mark II. I'm gonna keep one and sell the other when I pull the trigger on the R7. So let me know what you think about my way of thinking. And let me know if you have anything else in mind that I haven't thought about. But for now, this is what I'm thinking about. Replacing one of my C100 Mark II with the R7. Thank you for watching. This is Sergio for Sergio Gramonte Photography. Please, please, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I need all the help I can get. Thank you very much.